convinced myself I was better, but I will only get weaker. She can't hold her in much longer. We need to draw the spirit out. This isn't your typical exorcism. It was brave of you to come. This is Jared Padalecki. Watch a new episode of Walker this Thursday at 8, 7 central. Now attend the search for a sexual predator on the loose. Police say he followed a woman home after her dog walk and attacked her inside her apartment. Plus, a man wearing a creepy clown mask attacks a woman withdrawing cash at an ATM. How police track down the terrifying thief. And more trouble for the artist formerly known as Kanye West. The embattled rapper escorted out of a, the building after showing up at Skechers unannounced one day after Adidas severed ties with him. Now on the news at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Sandra Mitchell in tonight for Share Calvin. The search is on now for a man wanted in what police are calling a follow home sexual assault in Echo Park. Detectives say the suspect busted his way into the victim's apartment after watching her walk her dog in the neighborhood. Now residents are on alert, worried the suspect will come back. Mary Beth McDade has the latest from LA Police Headquarters in downtown LA. <laughs> A quick thinking neighbor says he grabbed his phone and began recording this man fleeing his Echo Park neighbor's apartment when he heard her start screaming for help. Police also released images of the man. They say followed the woman home and sexually assaulted her. Girl was just screaming and, you know, asking for help. We came out because we thought she was fighting or something and then she said that the guy will, you know, try to rape her. Police say she had gone for a walk with her dog at Echo Park Lake on October 9th around 7 p.m. Then about an hour later, they say he was captured on camera following the victim home, first on Sunset Boulevard, then turning down Rosemont Avenue to her apartment complex. Investigators say they also have images of him taking off his baseball cap and combing his hair before entering her complex. Detectives say he approached the woman as she was entering her apartment, made a comment about her dog, and then pushed his way into her apartment as she tried to close the door. Police tell us he knocked her to the floor, got on top of her, and began groping her. They say when she started screaming, he slapped her several times, trying to get her to shut up. She apparently managed to fight him off, and he fled. This man says he and another male neighbor chased after the suspect, but lost him a few blocks away around Glendale Boulevard in Montana Street. Very scary to know that somebody, you know, in the complex, you know, something might try to happen to her, and it could happen to anyone. Police describe the suspect as being a Hispanic male, about 5, 8 inches tall and weighing between 180 to 200 pounds. They say he has dark eyes and dark hair and walks with a limp. For now, in downtown Los Angeles, Mary Beth McDade, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. A man wearing a clown mask as a disguise is under arrest tonight after attacking at least two women, one of them at an ATM. Police say the attacks happened in the middle of the day in a supermarket parking lot, and they believe the suspect may have been involved in other crimes in the area. KTLA 5's Rick Chambers live in Victorville with more on what is really a creepy crime spree. Rick? Yes, Sandy Creepy, probably the, the good word for this, and obviously planned out by this guy well ahead of time. Thankfully, the two women, both of them in their 50s who were victimized, were not physically harmed, and the suspect is in jail tonight. But police would still like you to take a look at his face. Do you recognize this young man? How about the mask that he was wearing Tuesday afternoon? Or the red hoodie? Police say 22-year-old Joel Hernandez of Hesperia allegedly attacked two women in that outfit. The first was mid-afternoon here at this grocery store parking lot. Hernandez allegedly came up behind a woman and grabbed her. So scary because you never know what is going to happen. Maria Morgan regularly shops at this store. Tonight I'm with the family, but sometimes I'm by myself. So I was like, yeah, I can't You're gonna change think things about a little, it. Maybe? Yeah, I got to think about it, yeah, and then try to change things because, yeah, that's like not safe. About two hours after the first crime, Hernandez was spotted by cameras about two miles away outside this credit union. Detectives say he robbed a woman leaving an ATM, but didn't get far. Deputies were able to locate a suspect that matched that. Women aren't really...